What are we unboxing today? We are unboxing the two-player starter set for Warhammer Underworld. <laughs> Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at the brand new two-player starter set for Warhammer Underworlds, the ultimate competitive miniatures game. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box set, and a big thank you to all my patrons. Without your support, these videos would not be possible, so a huge, huge thank you for, to my returning patrons, as well as my brand new ones as well. Of course, uh, you know, for anybody who's feeling left out, uh, you can know, you feel free to get, leave a thumbs up, comment, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. Warhammer Underworlds. <laughs> It's what we're looking at today. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So it's been a while since there was a two player uh, starter set released for this game as we've gotten a lot of season expansions and everything like that in the last year or so. And so I think it's a really good thing that we have this two player starter set because from what I understand is that this box is uh, got all the new formats, the rivals and everything like that, that they've, they've introduced over the last couple of uh, iterations or expansions of the game. And so I think that's pretty darn cool. So in the back of the box, we're looking at, it is the Sepulchral Guard versus the Stormcast Eternals. Contents are three Far Strider Fighters, seven Sepulchral Guard Fighters, 52 page playthrough booklet, 52 page rulebook, 10 fighter cards, two double-sided game boards, three Far Strider 32 rival deck, Sepulchral Guard 32 card rivals deck, 114 counters and tokens, eight Warhammer Underworlds dice. Pretty darn cool. So for everybody who's been curious about this game, this is the time to jump in. And this is pretty darn interesting. I think it's pretty darn cool as it is the entirety of the game with all its current rules as it were, because there was a few functions that were added in the last couple of uh, expansions, uh, especially the Rivals deck, as well as some of the special rules that were in the game as well that were uh, added into the game. So this is a good time to get into this game for anybody out there who's been on, kind of on the fence going, uh, I don't know, I, do I really want to play this game? Do I want to get into it? Well, now you have the box. Let's get the, the trusty, rusty blade of destiny and cut through the tape. It's, it's not cellophane, it's tape. I know, it, it kind of kills my enthusiasm just a little bit. Just like the teeniest, tiniest parts of, you know, this video making process that it's not cellophane. It's, you know, it's not shrink wrapped. It's tape. Wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, is that these are a two player game, 30 minutes, uh, ages 12 and up. And of course, uh, what else is really cool about these uh, games is that, or Warhammer Underworlds, is that you you don't have to paint the miniatures. You honestly don't because your faction, uh, the the plastic is cast. So like Stormcast Eternals are in blue, the Sepulchre Guard are this kind of bone color, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's open up the box. Oh, what's in the box? Let's open up the box. Yes. All right, let's have a look here. It says, read this first. It's probably some sort of joke or something. I don't know. Are they having having a laugh at me? Jeez, it's pretty darn thick uh, for a rule book. Holy moly, there's quite a bit in here. Uh, we'll take a quick, uh, closer look at that in a moment. That's not the rule book. That's the read this first. Jeez Louise. This is the rule book. This is thicker than the rule. What's going on here? This book, this read this first is thicker than this book. Maybe it's just to catch you up. Maybe get you into the lore and everything like that. We have the two-sided uh, player board. Very, very cool. Uh, also, I've been watching a lot of the um, battle reports on Warhammer Plus uh, for the Warhammer Underworlds as well. So we have the Sepulchral Guard and this set of models has been released before. This is like a reissuing of these. I do believe we have the Stormcast Eternals, and I do believe these are also a re uh, a reprint of this sprue as well. And we'll have a closer look at these in a moment. We also have all our decks, the rivals decks, as well as the two faction decks. That is pretty darn cool. Throw that away. Uh, I don't think we need to go through the cards to you know see everything. I mean, this is not a you know, not a complete breakdown, right? And then of course we also have our dice, the dice, 11 dice, it says 11 dice. I don't see eight. Maybe, it's, maybe they said eight. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Lift to find your rule book tokens and game boards. And many, I already have the tokens on 
Yeah, there's nothing in there. I think, again, I think somebody's having fun with me. Somebody in their shipping department is having fun with me. All right, let's take a closer look at those frames. All right, so let's take a look at the sepulchral guard. This is the bone colored plastic. These are the skeletons. Now there's not a lot of complexity in the assemblies, but the detail is all there. These are highly, highly detailed models. This is everything we've come to expect from the Citadel design team. And honestly, these models in this game, Warhammer Underworlds, they're all fantastic. I don't think there's a faction in this game that I've looked at them and went, oh my gosh, what were they thinking? This is just complete garbage. No, the models that this team designs and they come up with and everything like that, yeah, they're really, really nice. They've got a great feel to them. The atmosphere, the, uh, the themes that they play within, just really, really fantastic stuff. Yeah, these guys are just really cool looking. Yeah. And of course, we'll probably have to do a sniff test, won't we? Won't we? All right, let's have a look at the Stormcast. Having a look at the Stormcast Eternals. That's on the back of somebody's head. <laughs> Somebody's got a big old bird. Standing on a log. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. We'll look at the other side as well. This is just the side I happen to pick the frame up on. Very, very cool. Again, look at all the great detail. The stump. <laughs> very, very cool. Okay, let's flip this frame over. Let's have a look at the other side of these details. Let's try focusing. There we go. Yeah. Again, these are like push fit models. You can glue them. Um, but so far, like with a lot of these push fit models, they go together really, really well. Uh, very little fuss, you know? So for everybody out there who's, you know, not that experienced on the hobby side, the modeling side and assembly and painting and everything like that, no worries, no worries at all. Just, just buy a box, just slap them together and start playing. And the thing I really enjoy with the gang or the warband box sets is that they are, um, you know, complete boxes. You get all the rules, everything you need in the box. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, I like this little falcon. This little Xerxes on his shoulder. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, we gotta do the sniff test. Let's go in for the sniff test. Oh <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! That is a sniff test. All right, let's get back to the rest of the video. All right, so here we're gonna have a closer look at the two books that are in this box set, the rule book and the read this first, apparently. So in this book, uh, I imagine it is giving you your breakdown of the cards, the layout, yes. Giving you the layout of the board, all the cards, what the board looks like with the models. Oh, it gives you like a little battle report kind of thing. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it basically is breaking down the game for everybody who is, you know, not sure how to play. It gives you an example of how the game goes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Round two. Jeez. It says 30 minute game, but I mean, this book is thick. <laughs> Got time for this. <laughs> Round three. Yeah, so it's basically a battle report in this first book. It also allows you probably to uh, have a look at like how the cards function, give you an idea and everything like that. Yeah. I think what also been pretty cool in a book like this is uh, a book on how to paint the models. I think that'd be pretty cool. Just because, you know, especially if people are brand new to the hobby, you know, they don't know how to paint the models. I mean, obviously they make it easy for everybody to just, you know, simply buy the box, get the deck, push fit the models together and start playing, right? So. You know, I mean, I imagine it's probably not too important. You know what? This is actually kind of interesting. I know, small tangent coming. But this is one of the few instances where Games Workshop is not on you about painting the models. Because they're, they're, they're already cast in a dick colored plastic, they're encouraging you to just, you know, open the box, start playing. Which is kind of interesting. I think that's very, uh, very interesting. All right, rule book. What do we get in the rule book here? We get a little bit of lore. 
get a little breakdown of the contents, a look at the, uh, the faction here, a little bit of lore. Oh, here we go. We've got some painting and building and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we got the painting and assembly guide in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's all right. Look at the cards, the tokens, looking at the models, breakdown of the cards, battlefield and all the sections, legend. Yeah. Okay. Very, very cool. Yeah. So the rule book breaks it all down for you. Combat, damage, attacks, reactions, end phase. Yeah. And then glossary. What else do we got next? Step? Oh yeah. And then picking up the universal rivals deck, new war bands. And from what I understand with this uh, brand new two player box is the fact that uh, this pretty much brings all the other um, factions in the game under one roof, so to speak. So that is the closer look at these books. Uh, pretty darn cool. Excited. I'm definitely going to have to give these a read and I probably have to pester my boy to uh, play some games with me. All right, back to it. That is our unboxing of the two-player starter set, Warhammer Underworlds, the ultimate competitive miniatures game. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this. Big thank you to my patrons for their continued support, as well as all you brand new ones. If you are not able to support monetarily, thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all of that helps the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple of clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you, and I will see you in the next unboxing. Or useless review. Or even battle report live stream maybe who knows oh play your cards right not these cards though this is the rivals deck but you know what i mean those cards not those cards but those cards like those cards you know what i mean okay bye